Today we want to talk about hematopoiesis simplified. We want to start with the uh, most advanced cell type that appears in blood that you're used to seeing, and then step back, step by step, uh, to the most immature form that we see uh, in the bone marrow itself. There will be two parts. Part one will have to do with red blood cell production. Part two will have to do with neutrophil production. Hematopoiesis simplified, part two, granulopoiesis. Our objectives are to identify the developmental steps of granulopoiesis and to characterize the developmental changes in the cytoplasm and the nucleus of these cells. Here we see bone marrow. So we see some fat cells in through there and we see cells in development. These are the granulocytes right in through here. As you can see, this is the blood in a blood vessel, another set of blood and blood vessel. Here are some mature neutrophils that have been released uh, from the extravascular site to the blood, blood vessels. Uh, here we see with solution in blue, a little piece of bone. This is bone marrow. Uh, show you some blood vessels that are running through here. Um, uh, and also we see the granulocytes, uh, which are developing granulocytes all through here, here, and here uh, in the bone marrow. Here we see peripheral blood. So we see red blood cells, platelets, lymphocytes, but also we see neutrophils. So this is mature neutrophil with a, a, a dark nucleus, lobulated nucleus with a thin a portion there of connecting the different lobes of the nucleus in the kind of reddish gray cytoplasm. But if we look at granulopoiesis, we can see the mature neutrophil with a lobulated nucleus and a, a thin portion in its nuclear um, plasm in through here, uh, pinching the nucleus off and making the lobes. Uh, as we go to a more less advanced uh, stage, we can see a kind of horseshoe shape cytoplasm still looks the same kind of gray uh, to a less mature state the uh, metamyelocyte you have either oval or kidney shaped uh, nucleus kind of indented the cytoplasm is still mature pretty much mature already at this stage as you go to a a younger cell type the, uh, the neutrophilic myelocyte uh, we have an oval nucleus uh, less condensed nucleus um, a larger cytoplasm, and the cytoplasm has uh, basically three colors. It has uh, the pink, the blue, and the kind of gray, indicating that they have a specific as well as non-specific granules. And then the final form is a promyelocyte. Promyelocyte, um, oval nucleus, uh, cytoplasm with just a little bit of pink uh, in its cytoplasm. Uh, if we look at a mature neutrophil and a large orthostructural characteristics of uh, white blood cells in, uh, in an electron micrograph view, we can see a lymphocyte here, here, and here, and we see neutrophil. Here's a neutrophil. You see the two uh, components of the lobes of the lobulated nucleus. Another one here, you see three lobes of the lobulated nucleus. All this is one nucleus, but it has different lobes. We have the non-specific granules that we're seeing, as well as the little dumbbell-shaped granules. The little dumbbell-shaped granules are the specific granules that you see uh, in the neutrophil. We also have a monocyte right in through here. It doesn't have the granules that you see uh, in the neutrophils. So if we look at those from uh, uh, the entire scheme, we have the mature neutrophils, uh, the band cells, that looks like a horseshoe shape here. And these can appear in blood if you have an infection and you need a lot of neutrophils uh, on board. You can't appear, these can appear on, on blood. Uh, and then you have the neutrophilic uh, metamyelocyte, a kidney shape, uh, still kind of a mature cytoplasm, varies a little bit in cytoplasm, uh, but uh, mostly gray in mature cytoplasm. A neutrophilic myelocyte, uh, which has uh, the combinations of different uh, granules, specific granules, non-specific granules, and then the promyelocyte, uh, which has uh, azeophilic granules and the blue cytoplasm of the ribosomes. A lot of rib a lot of uh, ribosomes in the cytoplasm makes it blue, and also a lot of cytoplasm in these cells. Um, 
And so basically we're looking for a cytoplasm uh, going from the typical gray that we're seeing. We're going to pick up uh, some blue and then ultimately have uh, blue and pink as you have the azophilic cranials and there with a lot of cytoplasm. The nucleus, we're starting with the uh, lobulated nucleus, it's going to be less, uh, less condensed, uh, more uh, oval, ultimately oval shape, uh, euchromatic nucleus in the most immature form. So here we see some platelets and also we see a cell that I'm not sure if it's eosinophil or a basophil, it certainly is not a neutrophil. Here's a neutrophil uh, right in through there, libellated nucleus, very thin uh, piece of, 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 uh, of the nuclear component there, but it's a libellated nucleus and kind of create a cytoplasm that we have. Uh, the next one we see is a neutrophilic metamylocyte. We see there which has a uh, uh, somewhat uh, indented uh, uh, nuclear uh, profile as we see. <coughs> Also, a neutrophilic myelocyte, which has a combination of different blue, uh, gray, and uh, and kind of pink color, which has azophilic and the specific granules, but otherwise uh, a largely uh, a oval nucleus. Uh, so we came all the way through here, and now we're going to look for uh, the promyelocyte. Uh, so here we have some uh, cells that we don't know. For here's some a lymphocyte that doesn't have much cytoplasm. We see another lymphocyte here and here. Some nuclei, we just don't know what they are. But here is a neutrophilic band cell, which is one that we haven't seen in the, in the previous slide. The band cell, and there's another band uh, cell in through here. And here's a, a neutrophil. So these give rise to, uh, to these guys, um, as you see. Here is uh, um, going down to a younger uh, phase. We have the neutrophilic metamolocyte, but like an indented with the kidney shape, as we said before. Uh, and then you have the, the myelocyte, which is a combination of different colors, as we mentioned. Uh, and then you have a promyelocyte, which has a blue cytoplasm and over nucleus blue with some uh, pink in there as well. If we want to look at that on several cells, we can see the mature uh, neutrophil, a very thin portion of the uh, chromatin lobulated nucleus gray cytoplasm. Uh, neutrophilic band cells, these are the band cells, a horseshoe shape as a cell with a mature cytoplasm. Uh, and then you get to neutrophilic myelocyte, a largely mature cytoplasm, but it can vary a little bit. But you have the kidney bean uh, type uh, shape uh, nucleus. And then you have an early neutrophilic metamolocyte uh, as, we, uh, as we see uh, here. Uh, with a combination of cytoplasm indented uh, nuclear envelope. And then you have the neutrophilic myelocytes, more oval one, combination of, of, of cytoplasm, different colors. You've got azophilic granules, you've got ribosomes, you've got specific granules in through here, but it can vary uh, in, in, in shape of the nucleus. Uh, and there's a lot of cytoplasm with a combination of different colors. Uh, a late um, uh, promyelocyte, both of these are promyelocytes, uh, even though this is the late one and this is a typical one that you see uh, with a euchromatic nucleus, oval nucleus, uh, with uh, uh, largely blue cytoplasm with azophilic granules located uh, in there as well. And if we uh, look at uh, this scheme, we can see the, the host of the different cells that are here. Uh, we can see uh, the band cells, this is the, the band cell, neutrophilic band cells, uh, the neutrophilic uh, metamylocyte, uh, neutrophilic uh, myelocytes uh, that are located in through here. We see a couple of eosinophils or basophils. Uh, and in the red blood cell series, we can see the pro uh, uh We can see uh, uh, orthochromatic uh, normal blast uh, in through here and a, a, um, a polychromatic uh, a ripper blast as well. So of course uh, bone marrow uh, is a source of uh, granulocytes and here you can see where one is actually uh, getting out of the out of the extravascular space and is entering the blood space. Here's a neutrophil that we see right in here. There's another one maybe a couple uh, lymphocytes that we see 
right through there, but we can see this one squeezing out of the extravascular space into uh, the vascular space. That's the end of uh, Hematopoiesis Simplified Part 2. Thank you.